During this lecture, we'll be talking about the general mechanisms of autoimmunity. First of all, let's talk about the headline, antigens released from hidden locations. There are certain locations that are present within our body that are not going to be really exposed that much to certain antigens, uh, antigen-presenting cells. Therefore, these antigen-presenting cells, they're not going to be um, identifying these antigens that are present within the cells or tissues of these uh, locations. An example here is actually the cornea, which is generally hidden, and whenever a problem actually occurs here and the cells are released, or uh, certain antigens are released, the antigen-presenting cells are going to be triggering an immune response against these uh, against these cells in a way as if it was foreign, however, it is not. Now, worth noting here that these immune, um, these uh, antigens are actually decided, detected by the lymphocytes, which are antigen-sensitive cells. Now, antigen generated by molecular changes. First of all, let's understand that formation of antigens or epitopes on normal proteins, and this is going to be, uh, I mean, due to certain molecular changes, that the immune system isn't familiar with. So, we've got some changes in the, uh, in, the, in the amino acid sequence of these antigens because obviously we know that on anti these antigens we are the, the antibodies are going to be um, they're going to be triggering they're going to be focusing they're going to be only touching the FC region of the antibody is only going to be detecting certain epitopes which are very small regions within the antigens and these these uh, amino acids that are going to be making these epitopes might be slightly altered and this is going to be possibly uh, leading uh, to this um, these cells considering the antigen as non-self an example actually could lead to rheumatoid arthritis and this is a very um, uh, I guess disturbing picture explaining what can happen if this uh, can, uh, can this actually occurs within uh, our bodies now molecular mimicry which is uh, in my opinion one of the more interesting actually um, uh, ways that are uh, that can cause or things that can cause autoimmune autoimmune diseases is that molecular mimicry simply put we've got the presence of a certain we've got the presence of a certain uh, self antigens that will have certain proteins that are similar to invader antigens so let's imagine we've got a protein that was present within our body and we all were already have induced a response against a viral or a bacterial antigen and this was extremely similar to the one that is present inside the body so what is going to be happening is that our own body is going to be inducing an immune response against our own cells simply and for the sole reason that they are extremely similar and there is an example present here about the human t-cell leukemia virus 1 or htlv1 that we're not going to get into however feel free to actually go through it and read it it's actually very very interesting now alteration and antigen processing and uh, this is also uh, one of the ways that can uh, cause uh, autoimmune diseases this uh, occurs when the t-cells fail to develop tolerance because they simply haven't been exposed now if you have noticed there are many many um, reasons or causes that, do, uh, that cause um, uh, autoimmunity and simply put because our body has not been exposed to these antigens before so uh, hasn't been exposed to enough antigens usually modifications of the antibodies occur at the site of inflammation and only if the T cells do not have the tolerance they are going to be inducing autoimmunity so if these cells have already been uh, induced or they've been exposed to these antigens or these epitopes they're not going to be inducing um, uh, autoimmune diseases or autoimmunity but they, in fact they are going to be inducing um, a proper immune response now infection now sometimes infections can result in the deregulation um, of a host immune system causing an a, a rather abnormal response to certain uh, uh, to certain inductions and this can be in many forms including the polyclo polyclonal lymphocyte activation now let's take an example we've got uh, for example a certain uh, a, a certain bacteria that enters inside our body and our body since it has memory cells it is going to be inducing these uh, memory cells are going to be inducing an immune response against this bacteria however the problem is let's imagine uh, we, we have an in introduced a new bacteria into our body and our body is trying to form uh, uh, form antibodies or memory cells against this specific type instead of forming only one clone and cloning uh, one cell and cloning it and getting uh, many clones 
for the same uh, epitopes or the same antigens, what is happening is that multiple clones are going to be forming and this is going to be very exhausting for the immune system. Now enhanced stimulation of co-stimulators, now this is going to be talking more, uh, uh, spoken more about during the next lecture. Alteration of the self-antigen as well which we have previously mentioned. Now finally we've got some genetic factors that also play a role. Now I'd like to, uh, I, I'd just like to go back to the first uh, video uh, uh, on the series of autoimmune immune diseases where we actually mentioned that we know that um, we have a mechanism, we have a, a, a sophisticated uh, mechanism within our body that is going to be making sure that these antigen presenting cells can distinguish between the difference between self and non-self. However, certain genetic factors can cause alterations in this in this primary mechanism which ultimately leads to one uh, major thing which is uh, which is autoimmune diseases also there can be a question that you might ask uh, if we can go back and talk about molecular mimicry was now which is uh, we, we have a uh, certain protein within our body and it has a we have there's a certain similar protein that is present within a bacteria and our body is going to be mixing up between them even though we know that cells inside our body are extremely specific what explains this simply put genetic factors if our genes do not allow us to produce highly specific antigen presenting cells what is going to be happening is the production or induction of autoimmunity